<laughs> Hello, my fantastic friends. All right, today's Reddit tip is gonna be about electrical devices. What's up with that? Electrical devices, some switches and outlets and stuff like that. Some architecture firms, if you're a smaller company, you will probably do your own electrical plans, your own power plants. Just saying. Bigger companies usually have a consultant like a PM&E, plumbing, mechanical, electrical, and the electrical team takes care of all the outlets, they take care of your switches. They take care of that stuff. And then you just, they, they submit with the set, the power plan, and then it's part of the set. Yay, it's on the P101, whatever. But if you're a smaller company and you want to do your own power plans because it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. You can set up like res residential and small commercial projects. You can be doing your own electrical. Now, I'm not here to teach you how to do it. But I've got a couple calls recently on how do you turn this stuff off? Okay. <laughs> so, or on, or how do you load it? Where do you find the stuff? So I'm going to show you where to find it, how to load it, and then how to turn it off on certain plans and turn it on on others. Okay, just here we go. Let me share my screen, share my screen with you. All right, so here we are friends. We're back in our project. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm gonna show you. Let's just say you want, well, let me just show you what I got. Here in my floor plan, this is my plan of my building. I was walking along and I said, you know what? I need a light switch over here to turn on the lights in this room. And I need a light switch in the bathroom. You got to turn on the lights. Otherwise, and like you got You could have one of those automatic lights that just beep pops in on when you walk in a bathroom. I'll tell you a story really fast. Okay, this is totally free. And as side story, I went into a bathroom that had a motion sensor light. And so as soon as I walked in, ding, the light came on. Oh, it was great. So I went over and I know this is TMI, too much information, but I used the restroom, okay? I went to the little stall and sat down, okay? That's as far as I'm gonna tell you about that. But I'm sitting there, <laughs> minding my own business and the lights go out. It, yep, it was set on a timer. Bing, lights go out. I'm sitting there in the dark. I'm like, I said a few choice words that I should not have said. And then I realized I'm in a pickle here because I'm going to sit here in the dark until someone else comes into the restroom and the motion sensor goes off because I couldn't wave my hand high enough over the stall to get the light to go off. And I wasn't about to stand up and start walking around in the dark. Okay. So I took one of the toilet paper rolls and threw it up in the air. And luckily, the motion sensor picked it up and the lights came back on. Bing! That's just a special story for you guys. <laughs> I cannot believe I just told you that story. But here we go. I got a light switch in this bathroom. And I put a three-way light over here to turn on some lights that are in the plan. I was like, where did I get these? Here's a dimmer switch down here. And here's a 220 outlet and some duplex outlets. Where did I get them? Let me just show you. If you want to load this stuff in and start using it in your project, you can. You click on insert and then you click on, ah, uh, where is it? There it is, load a family. And it'll take you to, let me just go up, your, if, if it takes you to, and oftentimes it'll take me to English Imperial or whatever country you are from, it'll take you there. You open it up and you're like, what in the world? There is a there is a category right here called electrical. Open that. And then you're like, okay, MEP is the only suggestion I can. That's mechanical, electrical, and plumbing. We're on the right track. And then there's connectors. And then there's pa electrical power and information communication. Like, what? what do I do? Okay, let's open up electrical power. I'm like, hmm, what the heck is this? We've got appliances, distribution, general. What's under distribution? 
hey, look at that, some junction boxes, panels, wrong place, right? So let's go, hmm, let's try uh, terminals. When I, look, when I click on terminals, there they are. These are, wait for it, you've got a duplex outlet here, you've got lighting switches here, and you've got a 220 volt receptacle, wait for it, and there are a simplex outlet, no one uses those anyway, but here's what you can do. You can highlight more than one object by holding down control on your keyboard. So highlight receptacle 220, use that for like, I don't know, your electric range in the kitchen or dryers and sometimes, eh, not usually washers, but dryers, okay? If you have, you're doing residential, you're gonna need it. And then click on duplex outlet. So light switches, receptacle and duplex receptacle. And probably unless you um you have maybe the top one is switched sometimes that's cool you guys ever flip a switch and it turns on a light it, it the switch powers up an outlet across the room so a light comes on you might want one of those but i usually just grab a duplex lighting switches and receptacles and hit open okay and it puts all those into my project i'm going to come down here and show you what came in okay here, under electrical fixtures, the duplex outlet came in, okay? And if you expand it, you've got a GFCI and a standard. GFCI would be used in bathrooms and any place that's wet, where our kitchens, right around the sink and stuff, okay? Because it automatically pops and pops the fuse locally so it doesn't blow the fuse if water gets in it, okay? There's your receptacle 220. And your simplex, I loaded that. I shouldn't have because nobody ever uses those. In fact, watch this. Delete, delete. Okay. That's if you have an outlet that only has one power to it. But most outlets these days have two. It's a duplex. But let me scroll down a little further. The switches are separate. The switches are down here under lighting devices. And you have to expand lighting switches. And look what came in. We've got circuit breaker switch. We've got dimmer switches and door switches. Like if, you, if you're if you handicapped and you hit a little door switch, beep, opens the door automatically. Key operated, low voltage, pilot lighted. But look, there are single pole and three-way switches and even timers. Okay, so you get switches and you can click on one of these. Let's just click. I'm going to click on single pole and I'm going to right click on it and say create instance. Okay, and then I can make sure it's, place on a vertical surface is listed up at the top on screen. And then I can zoom in and put a switch on my wall. Now they come in at the height that is located over here, elevation from the level. The hand, the switches usually come in around four feet. If you put in outlets, they'll come in low to the floor, like one foot six and so on. So you can set those to the height you want. And the symbols that show up, watch for it. These symbols that show up, I'm going to show you what they are. We've got a big D here for a dimmer switch. And <clears throat> this lighting switch here doesn't have any um, numbers or letters on it. So it's just a plain old light switch. This is your 220 voltage right there. Okay. With the three, it's got three bars, vertical bars in it. And there's your three-way switch, has a three. This is a duplex outlet right there with the two lines, okay? And that single out, um, single plex would have a single line. But again, no one ever uses those. I, I'm just saying, okay? Now, they're showing up on my plan because I have my plan set. It's set at medium right now. And if I switch it to course, they will still show up. But if I switch my view to fine, bing, they disappear. But the boxes are still visible in the wall, okay? I'm just saying those boxes are still visible. So the um, I'm going to switch it back to medium. Okay. This is, let's go to my electrical plan. I created a reflected ceiling plan, an electrical plan. And what I did was I placed some light fixtures up on the ceiling, bing, bing, bing. 
And then I wanted power, like I wanted this switch to flip and turn on the lights that were out underneath my porch. And so I wanted this line here. And in Revit, you can draw lines if you want. You can just draw lines, detail lines. But the electrical guys typically put in a wire. And all you have to do is turn, make sure that systems, um, the systems tab is up on your, the systems tab is working up on your, um, the bar across the top. If it's not, you could go to file, options and right here let's see i think it's under user interface yes go to user interface and you can check if you want the structural tab to pop up you check that box and if you want the systems the mechanical tools to pop up you just check that box but i checked electrical tools right there and if you want your piping and plumbing tools you check that box so there's, there's other things that you can turn on and off right here under user interface, but I just turned on electrical tools, okay? And so that they're here. So you get your systems tab, it pops up and wait for it. Right here on one of the first buttons is a wire and you can click on a wire and just make an arc or you could use a spline or a chamfered wire if you want it. But I usually just click on arc, okay? And what it's looking for, I'm just going to show you. You click where you start. Let's just say I want to start right here. I'll, I'll start on this switch, at the top of the switch. You can click it. And then you click at the middle of the arc, like there be the center of my arc. And then you pull, look at that, you pull the other end, okay? So this switch would be now going to that light fixture. I'm going to erase that because I don't want it to go there. But it's a cool thing if you actually tag and hit with this wire on the end of your switch, you can move the switch and the wire will track with you. It has actually locked the wire to the end of it. And you can lock the other end of the wire to the lighting fixture. So if you ever move it, the wire stays connected, okay? The reason that you would want to use wires is you can turn them on and off with VG. Look at this, under, VG. Oh, I've got a way for it. Turn that off. I am going to go to my view template that I'm using. I made a view template called Power Electrical Plan. Okay. And what I did in my view template, let me just show you. I made all my walls turn gray and my stairs and furniture turn off. I know. Just set your view template to what you actually want to see. And I left on, of course, my walls, and I left on my ceilings and lighting fixtures and the um, and all my lighting devices and my um, what do you call what else do you call them? The uh, electrical fixtures, which are the outlets. Because so I just wanted to have a power plan here. Okay. So anyway. I set my view template to have the, the, the walls looking nice and dim so that my electrical stuff pops out. Bing, okay, because I want to see it. So after I set this all up, you're safe when you go back to your plan because in your plan, it can't see all the wires. But you might look down and go, wait a minute. On my plan, I, I want these outlets to show up on, and the switches to show up on my power plant, but I don't want them in my floor plant. So you might go, oh, let me just go turn those off. So you would hit VG typically, VG on the keyboard, or go into your um, template for your floor plan and start looking for things you can turn on and off, okay? And you would like to go, mm, we look down here, all the switch, let's go up here, electrical fixtures, has, it's listed under electrical fixtures for the duplex and the outlets and the receptacle, the 220 outlet. So I have to go turn off the duplex, I mean the electrical fixtures. So I simply come here to my plan, okay? And I go la 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 la, I come down and I'm looking for electrical fixtures, there it is. So if I check that box and I say, okay, take a look. My power outlets, go off 
I'm like, okay, good. Now I need my switches to go off because they're all over the place. I got switches in the bathroom, switches over here, three-way switches across the room, dimmer switches. I need these switches off on my floor plan. So I glance over here and it says lighting devices. Under lighting switches, that's where they all are. So when I hit VG, I just have to go uncheck lighting devices. And if you come down here on this list, you might notice lighting fixtures is here, but not lighting switches and lighting devices. And you're like, how am I going to turn those off? What? Okay, here's the key. And I got a call on this just today. Someone said, how do I turn those off? And my client had the filter list at the top set to architecture. So it's only listing the architecture items, okay? And so, just so happens that electrical fixtures was on this list because architects also have some electrical fixtures, but apparently architects don't have lighting devices, switches. Hmm, go figure. So what you need to do on this little drop down for your filter list, do the drop down and check the box for electrical. And what it does is it turns on in your list, it makes all the electrical stuff available for you to turn on and off now. So if I scroll down now, you might find lighting devices is an option, okay? And all I gotta do is uncheck that box and say, okay, at the bottom, and my switches turn on. <laughs> it seems simple enough, but enough people are like, how do you turn those off? So there's how you do it. So I just showed you how to go load them, how to use them, and then how to turn them off when you don't want them. Because you want them on in your electrical plans, in your ceiling plans for your electrical and power, but you don't want that stuff on in your floor plans. All right. Well, that's about enough. That's about enough. So let's go on and have a great life. All right. I hope you guys have a, I hope you learned something and I hope you have a fantastic day. And until we meet again, happy reveting and bye-bye.